A lot of you are probably already aware that shortly after CS 2021, Nvidia decided to change what the Max-Q nomenclature refers to, and I have done videos talking about it, but essentially this means that you are no longer going to be able to see the exact TGPs for the RTX 3000 mobile GPUs inside of the laptops which have either launched or are going to launch this year, unless some manufacturers are going to show them to you or if you are going to see the um, TGPs in the reviews which are going to be published on YouTube or any other websites. But luckily there are some brands like MSI, XMG and Electronics which have already shown us the exact TGPs for their laptops and for different models and ASUS has also joined the crew right now so we're going to be talking about that because in a um, post from Tweakers we found out that ASUS has sent them the exact TGPs for their laptops including their model numbers which is going to help a lot of people. And on screen right now, you should see the expected boost clocks, the TGP, the dynamic boost values, and as well as the maximum GPU power. And a lot of GPUs inside of their laptops are going to be max P, as you can probably tell. And I'm really glad to see that, MS that ASUS has decided to go that route. And they have also paired a lot of their uh, RTX 3000 mobile laptops with Ryzen 5000 CPUs, which so far have received a ton of praise from reviewers. And I would also recommend recommend you guys check out the video which Jared from Jared Tech has posted recently but you are going to find links to that in the video description as well as a list of a lot of reviews which you can watch if you're interested in buying any uh, RTX 3000 laptops right now and I would also like to point out that there are going to probably be a lot more manufacturers uh, which are going to show us the exact TGPs for their laptops, but I guess we just have to stress them enough about it until they're going to give us exactly what we want, because I personally think that we all deserve to know what we're going to be buying into. But if you are going to find more uh, TGPs for the laptops, then I would recommend you guys drop a comment uh, letting me know about it, and I could possibly include it in the review list or in some other lists which I could be making. But right now I would also like to tell you that yesterday the RTX 3060 mobile um, lap GPUs and their laptops which are going to include them have released and I have talked about it in another video. But right now I would also like to tell you about some alarming news and I dare say they're alarming because I don't think many of us really want to be mining on their laptops. But unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you ask, the performance of the RTX 3060 mobile in mining seems to be really close to that of the RTX 2080 desktop GPUs. And this uh, comes courtesy of Harukaze on Twitter, who has shown us that with a few minor tweaks, you can get this GPU to perform really well. Now, obviously, I am not really glad to hear about it, but like I said, some people might enjoy this. However, you also have to note that if um, this is indeed correct and a lot of people are going to switch from mining on desktop GPUs to laptop GPUs, that is most probably going to make it really difficult to get our hands on uh, any RTX 3000 laptops, let alone the 3060, 3070 or 3080. But I guess that also really depends on how expensive these laptops are going to be and if that makes sense in the grand scheme of things when you're going to be mining and I really have no clue how this all works because I've never done any kind of cryptocurrency mining but I guess you could also let me know more about that in the comment section down below but right now I would like to let you know about something else which I really find to be quite important and that is a bug that has plagued uh, cyberpunk 2077 for quite a while now but I guess we're finding more about it right now I mean I personally found out about it uh, yesterday from from fellow YouTuber Last Known Meal, who has done a video talking about how um, some mods could essentially take a full access of your PC if you have downloaded and installed them, and that is because of a bug which has not been fixed with in Cyberpunk 2077, and I guess it really lives up to its cyberbug name in this case. But uh, I won't really go much into it other than tell you that you should probably not download any mods and you could probably play the game in uh, its vanilla form just like I have done or you could just download if you really want to mods uh, to download mods from Nexus mods because right there chances are really slim that you're going to get 
hacked pond, whatever you want to uh, uh, call it. But I would also advise you not to download, just like I said previously. And uh, if you want to get more information about it, you're going to find some links in the video description. But I guess by right by the time this video goes live, uh, the bug could have possibly been patched by a hotfix. But in other better and more useful news, if you have a Ryzen 5000 desktop CPU, then you should probably download Clock Tuner for Ryzen 2.0, which is something I have previously covered in my videos. But right now, I would just like to tell you that they have brought a new feature called CTR Hybrid OC, which is essentially a special profile which will help optimize performance in both multi and single thread applications. And you are going to find a lot of useful links in the video description down below, as well as a video explanation explaining exactly how this is going to work for you. And last up, I would like to tell you that if you have seen my video talking about the IKEA and ASUS ROG partnership, you should probably know that if you are in China right now, you can already shop for these products. And otherwise, if you are anywhere on the globe except for Japan, if I remember correctly, you are going to be able to buy them sometime in October. And I have a dedicated video talking about it, so I'm not going to spend any of your guys' time with that. So uh, probably go and check out that video if you're interested. And right now, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching, and I will hopefully see you in another video. Bye-bye.